So yeah, this is probably going to take a long time or quite a lot of books to go through, but hey, we're going to try and keep it mostly alphabetical. Um, but anyway, um, buddy, books, right, first off, American Psycho, have not read it all, but yeah, there's American Psycho, there's nothing really I can see about it, um, I love the movie though, um, Assassin's Creed, uh, haven't read it all, I bought it because it was cheap, and yeah, it's, from what I've read, it's okay. Um, next up is another Assassin's Creed. Had this since I was a teenager, or even middle school, I think middle school. Yeah, I think it's alright. Can't really remember, but Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Then, one more Assassin's Creed. I did own another one, but like, fell apart. Um, Assassin's Creed Revelations, uh, it's Old Man Ezio, this is like, you obviously, Brotherhood Revelations, it's based on the movie, and, um, fucking brilliant. <laughs> where, where is it? Uh, I, I have no idea where my phone is. <laughs> Wow. Oh, there you are. Brilliant. So next up after that feel is, um, yeah, uh, again, I haven't read it all yet. I've got that many books, but yeah, it's a collection of short stories uh, by Stephen King called The Bazaar of the Bad, uh, of Bad Dreams. And yeah, it seems cool. And I like the artwork on it. Anyway. Going for another Stephen King book, uh, which I also haven't read all the way through. This is going to be too often me saying this, but yeah, uh, I've read a bit of this and lost interest multiple times. But yeah, um, it's a book about a dog that goes rabid. The end. Um, right, next one I started and lost interest. So, yeah, um, the cutting place, it's like rich people are like, got a human trafficking or like, I guess they're killing people, butchering people for cannibals or something. I don't know, I don't know, I haven't read it all, but I know that I've recently seen somewhere selling in the, uh, they're starting to sell like a big hard book cover version now, and re-released it as a big hard book cover, I think. I think that's what's happened. But yeah, probably go back to this eventually. Just, yeah, just what happens. I lose interest too easily. <laughs> um, right, I bought these because it was cheap. Never read it. Haven't even played the dead, properly played through the Dead Space games before. But yeah, Dead Space Catalyst. Haven't read it. Right, finally won the summing. This is less embarrassing now. Summing I've actually read all the way through because I love... So bad it's good movie, so it was interesting to find out how it was made, um, the, how uh, the room was made. Um, it's telling you the story of how it was made, how, um, what's he called? Uh, um, how Tommy Wiseau's friend met Tommy Wiseau and all that. Um, Greg's successor role, that's his name. Um, it's a really funny book. It's really interesting. It, it, if you're really interested or like just find that movie funny. Um, Eva movie, The Disaster Artist. Um, which is weird having him on the cover of my book now. But anyway. Um, or oh, the actual room, movie Room. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it, it's a, this is an entertaining book and it, that's a fun movie. It greatly changes a lot of things but... Yeah, it's got uh, pictures. Um, we're making it. It's really interesting. Uh, so yeah, it, it's it's a good, it's a good book. Like you find out that him that's meant to be playing the teenager, that's basically like Tommy's like ad adopted son. He's in real life was like 
older than like all the other actors apart from Tommy. But yeah, so and then there's more pictures. Um There's Tommy. Showing you like what people do when they see spoons and stuff. And then the film, like the, the, the fan base basically. Uh, yeah, there's Tommy. <laughs> the late 70s apparently. And then, yeah. There you go. He's trying to be an actor there. Um, so yeah, so that's that. Next up, this was my innocent days. Wanting to know, um, hoping that Doctor Who was going to be good. Uh, so anyway, got this. I like, figured that the new Doctor, hoping the new Doctor Who was going to be good. This book is shit. It's boring. I've read it all. Um, yeah. Um, I just love. That the background, they've just taken the image, a promotional picture from the TV series, and put them on there, and put like a like a PNG of a glass stain behind it, and like it's just so awful. It's I, I don't again I have a, like a fascination with like really bad mediocre things, and like so just that artwork is just embarrassing. Same thing, promotional pictures, and they've slapped them on. Um, so that was Doctor Who, The Good Doctor, and this is now Doctor Who Molten Heart. I've read about half of it, or quarter of it, I can't remember. But I lost interest, and then I watched the TV series, and that was bloody awful. So anyway, Dunkirk. I have not read this, I bought this because of the movie. I enjoyed the movie, and I know that um, my great-grandfather was dragged off of Dunkirk. But no, I have not. Uh, I have not uh, read this, but it's uh, got pictures of from the movie, and also yeah, I may have. Yeah, it's got like the actual Dunkirk as well pictures. Uh, yeah, and then there's yeah, there you go. So I'll probably eventually read this one day. I remember buying a copy of this from my granddad as well. Um, a set, like obviously not my copy, but I uh, got another bought another copy for him. Anyway, and another thing, ah, Sprite. This is meant to be like one of those like really like amazing books that people love. I did not enjoy this. I really thought it was boring and awful. I did not like this. Um, yeah. Did not enjoy this at all. Um, yeah, Fahrenheit 451. Not a fan. Um, next up, a book I really, really enjoyed was my introduction to Lisa Jewell. Uh, I've never read any of books before, heard about before. But yeah, The Family Upstairs. It's a great cult I literally about a cult, it's um psychological like thriller. Um it's really interesting. Uh as somebody who went through relationships that were you know, was like manipulated and used and stuff, it's interesting um to read stuff like this and see how it happens on the outside rather than normally I'm in the inside and stuff like that. So yeah, great book, love it. Right, I bought this book recently, and I haven't read it yet. I have not re uh, read it yet, but it is a great book. Uh, well, not a great book, but I'm hoping it's a good book. Another Lisa Jewel, The Girl, have not read it. There you go. Good book. Wait, not good book. I keep saying good book, I, I, that, but no, I don't know yet. Uh, so I can't really say anything about that. Next up. Um, right, this is the one I have a problem with. I I bought this and I got about halfway through, or about a quarter way through. This this book, Invisible Girl by Lisa Jewell, is 
an incel like revolution basically um unless it's like they're just trying to make you think that and then they're gonna change it and like it's also not actually the incel but so far i got 129 or let's just say 130 pages in and so far the what it was yeah in incels are like had enough and they're starting to go all night and attack women and you have this story about this insult guy that thinks he's better than everybody else and he decides and he's 14 he's had sex and he decides to start dating this overweight woman which he thinks he's beneath her and it's like yeah this is really not a likable character i do not care and none of the characters are like everyone's despicable and horrible so it's like i do not care and anyway Next up, which is the fourth and final Lucidural book I've got. Um, yeah. The Third Wife. One man, three marriages, tangled web of lies. This is like the family upstairs. Not like there's a cult or anything, but there's all these plot points and you're like, oh, who's done it, who's done it, who killed this person? And yeah, the twist is boring. Um, the, the twist is basically nothing happened. Uh, yeah, it's um, a good book, kind of, but it's, the ending is awful, very boring. And it's like, yes, I wasn't expecting that ending, but that's because that is the worst ending you could do. And it's basically like, it's very like, like the, the morals in it are horrible, as in the dad has three wives. He's had three wives. He keeps on like, He's really like into love and he just goes into these relationships. But the moral is the whole family says and all the wives go up to him and like the third one accidentally gets herself killed. And all the other what the other two and the whole family are like, right, you've got to stop dating people because you're getting too old now and you should just be happy with the family you got and not try and go for love. And I'm like, whoa. Maybe he wants to have like a partner, like oh he's just meant to get along with his like, why his 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 wives, uh, exes, his like he's just meant to like. So if you're at a certain age, you're no longer allowed it, and you're if you if you're like in your forties or your fifties, and you have you have children, you're just not allowed to date anymore. Like oh not like oh yeah the 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 old you know, it, it's just so weird. Uh, but yeah, I did not, I did not like that ending, and I do not like the morals. But anyway, one is something which, right, I have a big problem with this, right? I love this book; it's great. It's more Game of Thrones, right? Fire and Blood. Uh, so yeah, it's like, oh, Fire and Blood, isn't that the new TV series? We well, know it's House of the Dragon, House of the Dragon, and now they've made a book called um, House of the Dragon which is basically this but like bits pulled out of it and shit and extended it's a different point of view basically of this um but house of the dragon is basically fire and blood um it's this bloke he is writing it it's he, it's he's like going through the history and he goes it's not just like the solid fact it's like well, this person said this, and this person said this, this point of view. But, what it seems like is, it's probably this point of view. But you can go it either way. You know, the sum is like, one point of view is really ridiculous. And, you know, like, there's fantasy in Game of Thrones, but there are also just, like, grounded stuff. And it's like, yeah, it's probably the grounded thing, rather than... But anyway, uh, so, it goes through before Aegon, then it goes through Aegon... Then it goes through, um, uh, let's have a look. It goes through, like, the beginning. Yeah, it goes through Egon's con conquest, like, so before and, like, uh, the build-up and then actually it happening. Uh, him as the wars of Egon's first, um, three heads on the dragon, so it's about him and his two sisters and, like, people the governance like him in charge uh his sons then 
uh, the ascension of his son Jaharis, and then, uh, and then, uh, then um, that is really really long. That is most of the book of Jaharis, like many chapters of him. Then there's his evil son. No, then it's like sorry. Then it's his good son that people see is soft. Then it's his evil son, and then where is it? The dying there. Then it's then the, um, somebody else becomes in charge, and um, the next king after the evil king is dead, and then who's on the throne at the start of the House of the Dragon trailer? Who's the dad? Who's on the throne? And it was like, well, who's going to be on the after me? That's him, and then he wants his daughter, but all other political people and priests to want um, his nephew or something, his son, which is played by Matt Smith, and so it's um, the actual next in line versus the next male in the line, which is he's second in line. So yeah, um, and then the... The daughter, which is actually next in line, is also like falls in love with um, the uh, uh, uncle, and then him and the uncle and Matt Smith's character fight, and they die while fighting dragons, falling to their death. Uh, so yeah, uh, I don't know how long they're gonna make this, but it's so weird. It's like about this bit in when really there's all this and it doesn't even end like with like you know like the mad king so there's gonna be another book probably of this but anyway next up a game of thrones which i own twice because i lent this to a friend and his family fucking battered the book and then after my second read it like just didn't and it was it, like it was like basically it was hanging by a thread and then me reading it just yeah just yeah uh love that book great read it all and obviously i want it again but this is like an older copy and it's smaller but like yeah um so yeah so and also it's like matches all me of our versions like because that's the only one that's like the tv series uh cover all the other ones are like the proper thing. So anyway, so next up, after the two Game of Thrones, uh, uh, Game of Thrones books, uh, next uh, Nice and Fire is another book that this is my fault. This is over reading it, but yeah, it's falling apart. Uh, A Clash of Kings, and this is like how many bloody? This is like literally like nine hundred pages long. It is a beast. It is such a good book. Uh, so let's just say that's like most of series two. Um, anyway, so next up, um, which you can obviously guess what this is going to be. It is a storm of swords. One steel and snow. It is great. Um, and then yeah. The, the great books and I've read through all these twice and probably will read through them all again fully one day but yeah great books love them really really good anyway I'm gonna have to move this somewhere because uh, um, I've got it I've resting it on the books which isn't very smart but whatever uh, next up which is when the show just totally abandons like uh following suit but yeah feast of crow uh, of course cersei becomes um a main character um and there's loads of loads of new characters showing up this is another beast of a book this might be actually bigger no it's not it's about 800 pages so yeah um and then we've got two more which i'll just do straight off the bat because I want at least in this first video to finish the Game of Thrones books. Uh, we actually have got two other side books there, so but whatever, and um, I'll get them eventually. But anyway, 
Dance of Dragons and Dance of Dragons 2, um, Dreams and Dust, and then the second one is After the Feast. I love the artwork on these, these are very pretty. Um, but yeah, great, it uh, totally, like, not, it's nothing there like what Tyrion's um, journey is in the main uh, in a TV series. It's a lot darker and more interesting. And he just doesn't become like an idiot. He's actually still very intelligent. Uh, everybody becomes a slave and all that. It's very interesting. Bought this from a charity shop. Have not read it yet. It was 50 pence. Um, yeah, haven't read it yet. I know that it was. It, it got turned into a movie. But yeah, have not read it yet. So I can't really say anything about it. Right. Um, I'm going to have to... Uh, I've still got books on top of these books I'm going through, so I'm going to have to pause and, uh, yeah. Right, there we go. So, again, I'm, I've read a bit of this and I found it boring. Um, I've seen only seen one movie, which was like Girl in the Spiderweb or something, so I have not read or seen this movie. Uh, uh, like, yeah, uh, I, like, what the, what this obviously... This came first, though. I didn't mean that, you know, th there was a movie first. But, yeah, I haven't read this properly. I didn't really... I started, and then I got very bored, <laughs> to be honest. But, yeah, anyway. Um, next up. Uh, Girl Who Played With Fire. I believe this is the second one in the series. Obviously, if I haven't probably read the first one, I haven't read that one either. So, yeah. Um, next up is something I have read. I remember just like reading about bit by bit, but then one afternoon just bam, reading it all. Really good. I, I, watch, I wanted to watch the movie, so I read, the, I bought this, read it, and then watched the movie. The, the movie was like on Netflix, so it had been out for a while, like years. But yeah, so anyway, I uh, went on to a series that I have not read, but I, I have the other, I have, I see more for the last kingdom books and I bought these because they were on sale free for five pound uh, so I bought the entire series um, Harlequin uh, Vagab Vagabond and Heretic so yeah all by the Bernard Cornwell I bet they are great I have not read them yet so next up uh, I'll get them all out um with that right next up is harry potter which very old book had this since i was like a little tiny child uh i've not as an owl properly read this yet as an adult i will eventually read through it all but i'm frightened to actually read it like this because very very old so yeah um Next up, again, very old Harry Potter and uh, Chamber of Secrets. It's just, yeah, very old. Again, not read it as an adult yet. Um, oh, this has had, had damage. But again, that's like the oldest cover. Have not read this as an adult either, so there's not really a cause here. Look, the uh, of our old cover. Have not read this as an adult yet, but I am excited too. So yeah, there you go. And then yeah, kind of jumped, but I've read bits. <laughs> um, next up is I've read this really funny, great Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um have not read this i bought this i bought so that's um life the universe and everything that's the third book i believe and then so long and fang so all the fish is the fourth and then the fifth is mostly harmless so yeah um and then finally last four books i might get this in out this video um god of war haven't read it all Uncharted, haven't read it all. I got them alongside them, um, the Dead Space because of a very cheap, uh, only nine pence each. Um, not that great from what I've read. Um, uh, read this obviously, great book, love it. 
I haven't read it since I was a kid though. And finally, hope never dies. Joe Biden and Obama go on adventure after they're no longer president and vice president and they solve a mystery and a crime. Basically, like, oh, what do we do now no, that we're no longer that? And it's comedy. It's funny. I thought it was always going to be Trump bad, Trump bad, but they never even mention it. It's not like, oh, it's oh, the government's awful now that we're no longer in charge and he's in charge. You know, there was no, no mention of Trump, any idea of Trump, like, literally, like, in that universe, like, anybody could have been in charge after them. Um, which is great that they 